Today we were invited two below average chefs to compete in a cooking competition. But there's a twist. Each chef will be making a meal that we've chosen for them. They'll have to buy their own ingredients from the shop and we're only giving them £10. And if that wasn't hard enough, they'll be spilling the challenge, Will, to find out what today's disadvantage will be. Welcome to our new cook-off series, where each episode, students battle it out in the kitchen to create the best dish. Let's meet our contestants. Hello, I am Ria, and I'm 20 years old. Hi, I'm Chris, I'm 25, and I'm a master student from Middlesbrough. Up the borough. Out of 10, how do you rate Out of 1 to 10, I'd rate myself at an 8, but if the disability benefit are watching, I'd say about a 2, because I kind of want to keep my benefits at the minute. I made a curry for me and my partner the other night, and he's got s now, so <laughs> I can't say that, can I? I think I'm feeling pretty confident today. I feel like I'm going to cook a proper storm today. No, I'm not afraid of Chris's cooking skills because he looks like he does his weekly shop at Greg's. I don't like Greg's. I love Greg's. Like, I'm such a Greg's enthusiast. Have I got everything I need? Yeah, I've got my lip gloss and my charm. That's all I really need. OK, guys, today we're going to be making burgers. So you only have a budget of £10. Now get yourselves to the shops and get your ingredients. Your timer starts now. Get out of it, guys. Oh, you can't get out of me. Get out of it. We are hungry boys, remember? Hungers? What? Right, let's get some stuff for some burgers. I'm buzzing for this. I'm trying to think. For burgers, I need buns. Well, I've already got two. Beans. We got a tin opener, I'm gonna have to use my teeth. I'll get Chris to use his tea. I think I'm in the wrong aisle. I don't think we need bleach for it, unless I want to poison him. Plant burgers. I'm inclusive, guys. I, I respect the vegetarians, even though they're only half humans. These are gonna be expensive, though, so I'm like blowing the budget here. That'll do. Here we go. Four pounds beef burgers, so it's made of succulent pram I don't care. I had a little, you know, inside info earlier that Dave only has <gasps> the juice items. Here we go. I'm telling you now, if I find some. 38 pence. Good mood tablets. Give them a good mood tablet and then they'll be in a good mood to give me a good rating. £4.50. Is that what the price of happiness is nowadays? Jesus. Could we catch up? You know what? I'm going to get some scruffy mustard. No, I'm going to get some applesauce, the mustard, put that curry ketchup back, and then what is disgusting we can put in this burger? Oh, and mint jelly. What? And then uh, cheese, yeah, cheese. Do Ryan and Dave eat vegetables? Because they don't look like they do. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm not even going to look. Where my hand that lands, I'm getting it. Right, halloumi. Oh! And I'm just going to get some squirty cream for it as well. I think that's everything. But I don't know how much budget I've got left. There we go. Got me a bag of goodies. They can't say I don't treat them. Right, I've got all the ingredients I need for the boff burgers. Let's go. OK, and here we are with the challenge about to start. And it's today's challenge is burgers. And we are going to begin in three, two, one. Cook! Oh, Best there. of luck to you both. Whoa! Here we go. Who gave him that knife? Right. So first of all, I'm going to start cutting the halloumi. Oh my god. Let's hold oh, no, oh. on this. The, the onions, the bun, <laughs> and the, the filling. I feel like I'm going to slice my hand off. Oh, it's come from Cyprus, this. So I don't know if you're supposed to drain the sauce or the liquid stuff. The sauce? Yeah, well, it's saucy, isn't it? You've not got any seasoning for it, though. It's just going to be quite... Yeah, I do have seasoning. Plain. I've got mint jelly. What do you want to buy? Mmm. <laughs> Give your head a wobble. So, Ria, what uh, ingredients have you got yourself here today? So, Chef Dave, I've yep. gone all inclusive today. I'm making. Nice. Because Ryan is a vegetarian. Yes, he is. Um, yep. So, I thought I'd cater. I assume you're veggie? No. I assume wrong. You've got For me. dessert, I got you some chewies. Lovely, lovely. Because um, you, you know what I'm like. You know what I'm like. You stink. I <laughs> stink. <Yeah>. So. <laughs> That's, that's it from me. Oh, fair play. Well, I'm very excited to see what it looks like. Not necessarily about the, the taste, but uh, yeah, you know, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, Best you. of luck, mate. Chris, Chris, Chris. Hiya, boy -o. What have we got here? I've got some halloumi, but I need what you're going to get when you come last in the sweepstick, the wooden spoon. Halloumi is my favourite cheese. It's actually my favourite food of all time. It's actually your yeah, favourite food of all time? Yeah, it's the only reason why I've not gone vegan. What I'll do for you is I'll put some halloumi aside for you. Oh, that's all right. In fact, you know what? Let's get some more in now. Oh, yeah. Come on. <laughs> Mm. Nice. That is actually really good. Good yeah. lads. The banana, I've got many questions. What are you planning to do with that? See, the easy answer would be dessert. And it's not, I'm just going to mush it and put it in a burger for him. Does that add to the flavour? Um, 
Well, maybe if you had banana bread before, it's like something similar oh, to it. That is true. But is this the oven? Is, this is the only one on, so I'm assuming it's this one. We don't need to preheat oven. You just whack it in for 20 minutes at 200 degrees. That is how students do it. Whoa! You're taking the time of this cheese, That's mate. Very Christ. Good. Mm. You say, I heard you say you could call the time. Uh, 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 on the chef here. I'm yeah, the, yeah. Uh, professional chef. I am um, the time, boy. All. And all I'm seeing at the minute is a lot of talking, not a lot of cooking. I'm here to taste food. This is good and food. Whoa! <laughs> that. that I just what? thought it looked really dry. Right. It's time to spin the wheel. Oh! <laughs> Chris, this is for you. Okay. You ready? Yeah, I'm, I was born ready. This for me. The wheel. So you. Oh, I'm gonna hold it. Oh. 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 A mystery. So what that means, Chris, is Ryan will be taking over for you cooking for five minutes. Is this not cheating because you're a judge as well? I'm a terrible yeah. cook. Do I spin it? You can, sure can. Can I? <laughs> oh, heat, heat off, off mode. mode. It means the oven will be turned off for five minutes. I can't wait for food poisoning. <laughs> so if you want to carry on cooking, yeah. Chris, if you want to yeah. come stand on the sidelines and watch what Ryan does to your dish, maybe give him a little bit of tips. You never know. What do I do? Turn it off. I turn it off. Glad it. I don't know what to um, to do with this banana. To be honest with you. Do you know what? Half of it can go in there. And it's seasoned with the, 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 the burgers, no? This, this is a challenge for me. Like, I'm, I don't really know, it's yeah. Absolutely right. I've done absolutely nothing to help Chris here, other than eat his halloumi. Thank you, Ryan. I can't wait to see what you've done. Why have you put your banana in the pan? I was supposed to make mash banana. Banana? Mash banana? Probably one of the most chaotic things I've ever seen in my whole entire life. Yeah, I, I don't know what either of them are really doing. The, the ingredients are terrible. I'm stressing and I'm not even cooking. I'm, I'm not a meat eater. But there is a banana in there with the burgers. I would rather get food poisoning than eat that. I tell you that. Oh, but you look, will. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, you yeah. will. I got will. drop kicked by Mary Berry and I'd rather do that again than eat that crap. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Does there have to be a winner? Does there, like... She's doing beans with a burger. Like, bean burger? Yeah. Baked beans? Sounds all right to me, that. I actually don't know how long they've got in the oven, yeah. so if I just whack them in there for as long as I yeah. can. You no, know, this is for the main event, so now I'm going to put my banana in it. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm apologising for you oh both and your gosh. stomachs and what's going to happen after. I mean, that looks like what students leave in the bowl for days on end. If and someone know. in the group chat's gone. Guys, can someone please sort their dishes out, please? I would you eat see. that? Would you really? No, you wouldn't. I didn't actually say my... I wouldn't uh... feed that to my dog. Guys, you have five minutes left. Five minutes minutes and counting. You are taking your sweet time with the amount of time we've got. I'm, I'm, anyway. I, think, I think I'm done. I think I'm ready to show him this beautiful burger. I might just sack off the ketchup because, yeah. <sighs> because the beans are moist and, and you know, it, yeah. it gives the, the sauce enough. Okay, 10, oh, no. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, oh, 2, Okay, so these look absolute vile. Never in my life have I seen two burgers look so disgusting. I'd rather eat my shoe than this cold piece of shit. The beef is so undercooked, it's starting to eat the f***ing salad. God save Dave and Ryan. I wish them a speedy recovery. Now, it is time to judge your burgers. So I'm going to be judging the appearance and the aroma. Dave is the lucky one, judging the taste flavour, all of that. Yep. So, yep. we're going to start with yourself, Chris. Thank you. I mean, appearance-wise, it's okay. It, it does look like someone's just made a, a barbecue, a bunch of students, which, to be fair, you are. It smells nice. Mint tick, apple tick, the beef tick, halloumi tick. But time for the taste. Mr. Reese, this is where you come in. I've genuinely never been so nervous about anything in all my life. But here we go. You know, you only live once. Okay. Come on, Dave. Oh. We're well, tasting straight away. Mm. What are you feeling? Mm. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate. On a scale of one to ten, 
That is beyond a minus 7,000, mate. That is the worst thing I've ever tasted in all my life. You yeah. will not be invited to our summer. <laughs> Rhea, it is time for yours. Now, yeah. appearance-wise, it looks fine. Mm, it looks like the kind of burger you'd get in like a Weatherspoons. It does. Yeah, southern fried chicken burger. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, That's man. really good. Yeah. Smells like Mackey's. I'm quite excited. Here we go. Do you know what? I don't hate it. Really? It's actually quite nice. You know, I took a risk, and I think mm -hmm. it's really mm -hmm. paid off here. Did the beans go all right? Do you know what? The beans go very well. OK, so we are going to go outside now and have a little debrief and work out who is the winner of this episode. Oh, don't go far. I'm excited. I mean, it's one. <laughs> we don't even need I don't to think discuss. we need much more discussion on it. I was very nervous uh, about trying Chris's burger, yeah. uh, mainly due to the salmonella. Now, I know there's no eggs in it. With what was happening there, who knows? At the end of the day, there was a good burger and there was a bad, bad burger. burger. You can't beat the boil burger. What you call bean burger? Southern fried bean burger. It was like the good angel and the bad angel on your side. That was what it was like. Yeah. It was yeah. like... <laughs> yeah. Let's head back in. Yeah, Let's yeah. Head back in. Right. Okay. We have had much chat and discussion, mm -hmm. bit of debate. Very. We have decided on a winner of the first episode. Chris, overall taste, texture of the taste, was an absolute zero from me, unfortunately. Appearance-wise, you've got yourself a one, just because it does look like a burger. Aroma-wise, you've got yourself a two, oh. just because there's lots going on there, and I really enjoyed that. So well done, yeah, Chris. Yeah. You've got an overall of three. Well, three's a magic number, so I'm pretty happy with that. So Ria, I've already got my number, and I'm going to score it a seven. Aroma, you got yourself a five. Appearance, you got yourself a seven. So, well done, done. Ria. You are today's, today's winner. winner. Yay! Well, I think you've both done a splendid job. Well, one of you did, one of you tried. A massive, massive well done for Ria yeah. for winning the first episode. What do you got to say about that, Chris? Um, I'm still getting over it. As you could see earlier, I was quite distraught that I didn't win. I genuinely thought I was going to win. I'm absolutely ecstatic, but I can't say that I'm surprised, to be honest. Did you see his snot burger? It was absolutely disgusting. I think my final words to Ria is, well done. Your burger was absolutely amazing. And if you want to call up in the future, we can make our own little burger joint. I did send her a text after this if she wanted to do that. And um, she's ready. I think she will reply to me soon, but it has been about a few hours now, so probably not.